Oh, we had to take a break from our sponsors. Is that still red? It was red. The broiler was working. The gasket is still worn. The clock still doesn't work. The microwave is still missing. These two burners still do not work. We're missing our lens. Okay, and then underneath here, because inquiring minds want to know, it's going to be anticlimactic, but there's the electric cable coming up, and there's where it comes out of the wall. And so I'm not really seeing any anything hairy or scary in regard to the electric power supply to the cooktop, so that's a good thing. The two burners aren't working. And honestly, all the kitchen appliances, except maybe the dishwasher, I mean, they've seen better days. I do not know if the refrigerators convey this. Anyway, keep with my method. Coming on along, we're in the half bath. Again, everything's supposed to go down, goes down. Hots on the left, hose on the right. We got a vent fan. There we go. And then even though, and this is the 19 inch, all, all four sinks, uh, lavatory basins, are but See all the rust down here? See all the rust up there? It's rusting out. It's rusting out. Every time you close the door, it bangs, it shakes, and a little rust falls off of it. The laundry equipment's over here. I don't know if this refrigerator conveys. Laundry equipment's over here. I don't know if it conveys. Refrigerators and laundry equipment are beyond the scope of this inspection. But we got corrosion on our hot and cold valves for the laundry. And they're not labeled red and blue. They're blue and blue. So we don't know which one's hot and which one's cold. And I get that you're not going to be taking them on and off all the time. Um, but they are supposed to be labeled hot and cold. The clothes dryer is three prong electric. I can't see that we have a gas port underneath there. However, this hollow corridor, there is a gas port out here, right there. So it would be reasonable to assume that you could probably get some gas out here. Now this isn't plumbing or appliances, but this door should be self-closing. And this window, a fire would just blow this window right out and it'll be backdraft and just come through the house. So that's really an unsafe arrangement. Again, the dishwasher is a pretty recent installation. How about that? I got the data plate in here. It's just a blowing and a going. The floor's a little rough right in here. Of course, the floor's a little rough all in the kitchen. Along. I haven't found any GFCI on the. I only found one GFCI receptacle outlet, and that GFCI receptacle outlet was located on the garage south interior wall. And then there's no GFCI for the dishwasher. There's no GFCI on the kitchen countertops. Um, even your 220 is supposed to be GFCI by current standards. I know this house is built in 1968. I get that. But the safety devices, the safety devices, <laughs> the safety devices are, are not present, so it is a safety issue. Got a little bit of corrosion on the lines right there, and a little tape back in here, so we've got that. But the clothes washer, I mean, the dishwasher drain line does come up, it does make an anti siphon loop, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So 